Hello, this is Patrick with One CNC West, and what I'd like to do today is go over just some of the basics in regards to creating wireframe geometry, and then we'll take it a step further and extrude that geometry uh, into a solid model. Before I get started, I want to briefly go over the One CNC themes. So, for example, if I were to launch One CNC and click on Theme, there's four different themes to choose from. A theme really is just a quick way to have different colors for the background and the menus and things like that. So, for example, if I select dark shadow and then we launch one CNC you can see that we have this dark background and our menus are dark okay let's exit out of here and let's try this again let's go back into one CNC and this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a different theme in fact let's just use the default the default one CNC theme and we'll launch one CNC all right you can see that's what the background looks like and the menus are a little bit different color but I think for this video I like to do something a little different. Let's close one CNC and we'll relaunch it. And why don't we just go with the cool blue theme for this? All right, so let's launch one CNC. All right, so here's our one CNC cool blue theme loaded. This looks great. And let's take just a couple of seconds and talk about geometry creation. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but when I create geometry, I want a straightforward, direct approach. I don't want to have to worry about specifying a new component or activating a component or turning on my origin or specifying a construction plane. Those things are already preset for us. Of course, we can change them if we want to, but there's no need to. We can just jump in, create geometry, and not have to worry about specifying that we want to go into sketch mode or anything like that. Another important thing to realize with 1CNC is that when you're applying two and a half axis toolpaths, you absolutely do not need to create a solid model. There's no need for that. You can quickly go in, create wireframe geometry, apply toolpath, upload that CNC program to the CNC, and start cutting chips. All right, so with all that said, let's start to create some geometry. I'm going to hit the space bar twice to quickly go into a top view, and let's pan just a little bit. Let's head over to the Command Manager and go into our Line Tools, and let's start with Rectangle. Now, with Rectangle, you need to specify two opposing diagonal corners. I don't need to tell one CNC that I want a grid point snap or I want to reference off of existing geometry. That's already turned on automatically for me. In fact, I can even digitize the origin if I want by left-clicking and then just drag my mouse down to to the right. Now, of course, we can grid point snap, but if we want to type in values, we can head over here. For length, how about 5.5? And for the actual height, how about minus 4.5? That looks good. For corner radius, well, if you want to, you can zero that out to have sharp corners. You can type in any value you want. You get this nice instant feedback. I'm going to type in 0.375. That looks great. We'll click OK. And that's it. There's our very first piece of geometry created very quickly and directly. Now, now, let's say I want to create a line that's parallel to this line. Let's use our parallel offset tool. Take our cursor, left click. Once we do that, I can move the line to the left or the right. I can specify any value we want over here. Instant dynamic feedback within the graphics area. I want my line there, so I'm going to left click, and then when we're done, right hand mouse click. Now, let's say we just want to create a line. Now, of course, you can type in coordinates just like we did before. But if you want to, you can grid point snap. For example, I can left click and left click. And if I want to, I can digitize the center of geometry. I don't need to tell one CNC that I want to do that. I can grab the end point of geometry, go to the midpoint. I can grab the arc center if I want to to create geometry. It's very, very easy and direct. I'm going to undo those and let's just leave this geometry here. Now, what about trimming? Well, if I want to trim, I can head back over to the Command Manager. There is an extensive suite of trim tools provided by 1CNC, but if you want to, you can use some predefined shortcuts or create your shortcuts if you want to. For example, if I hit Control T, that takes me into Trim 2, and all I need to do is just digitize the geometry that I want to keep very, very fast. That looks good. I no longer need that arc, so let's select that, hit the Delete key. All right, how about putting a fillet in there? Well, we can easily do that. Let's go back over here, go into fillet, specify whatever value we want. How about 250 thousands? Left click and then hover. And as I hover, I get all these different solutions. If I like that, I can left click. If I want to change that value, I certainly can. I can type in a different value. Left click, and when we're done, right hand mouse click. 
How about something a little bit more complicated? How about an arc that's tangent to this line and passes through that corner right there? Well, we can do that using our arc two points. Let's use a radius of one inch. Just take your cursor. I want to be tangent here, so I'm going to left click. I want it to pass through that point there, so we're going to left click. That looks good, and when we're done, we can right hand mouse click. Very easy. I'm going to go back into trim, control T on the keyboard. That looks very good. We no longer need that line, so let's get rid of that. Hit the delete key, and there you go. So all of these commands are easily executed. You don't need any extra commands. A lot of the features are turned on automatically for you so you can begin. All right, now let's create an offset from the whole shape here. We can use the exact same command, parallel offset. I don't need to go digging through other menus. I can use the exact same command, and all I need to do is double click. So when I double click, now I can create an offset on the inside or the outside. Let's make that a half inch. Eh, let's make it a little smaller. How about 250,000? So we'll pull it right there and then right hand mouse click. All right, now I want to create some circles, and I want to create these circles at the center of these lines. Well, how do I do that? Well, I specify my diameter, and then I just take my cursor and just do it. Just build the geometry. I want the center of that line, so I'm going to left click, center of that line, left click, center of that line, left click, and let's make one here at the center of that line and left click. How about trimming? Okay, well, we already showed one example of trimming. Another shortcut is just hit the letter X. That takes you into scissor trim. And all you need to do there is just digitize the geometry you want to get rid of. Very easy. Let's take it a step further. In fact, let's let's just left click that geometry while we're still inside the scissor trim. And we can quickly go in here and get rid of this extra geometry as well. That looks great. All right, how about some fillets? Let's go back into our fillet command. We already looked at this a little earlier. I'm going to make 200 thousandths radius fillets. And all I'm doing here is I'm just left hand mouse clicking on the geometry. As I do that, one CNC gives me a preview. So left click, and there's our preview. And if you like it, just left click. Left click and left click. And when you're done, right hand mouse click. How about some circles at the center of those little those outside bosses there? Let's make this point 375. Take your cursor and just do it. Just left click the arc center. Don't need to tell one CNC to turn on points or to make points visible. You can just take your cursor to the location you want and create your geometry. All right, so here we go. Here's our wireframe geometry. If we want to apply our two and a half axis toolpath to that, we can. Now, if you want to create a solid model, maybe you're going to be creating some three axis toolpaths or four or five axis, and maybe you do want a solid model, well, we can easily create a solid within one CNC as well. Lots of different methods. In this video, let's focus on the extrude tools. Let's go into our extrude command here. And let's start with extrude curves. Simply take your cursor and just hover over any boundary and left hand mouse click. When you're done selecting, right hand mouse click, and now you can dynamically drag the extrusion. Very easy. Now, we're snapping to units here. You can see that over here on the height. But if you want to type in a value, you can. How about minus 400,000? So minus 0.4. That looks good. I can hit enter on the keyboard if I want, or I can left hand mouse click within the graphics area, and that does exactly the same thing. Let's take a look at extrude boss. Same thing. Same approach. Same technique. Left click. Don't have to learn new techniques or anything. Same technique, I can drag, snap to units, or if I want to, I can type in a value. How about 0.125? I think that looks great. In this example, I'll hit enter to execute the command. Very good. How about extrude cut? Well, actually, you know what? Let's create a little bit more geometry here. I'm going to quickly head back over to the command manager. and I'm going to use this tool called extract surface edges. I'm going to left click that surface. Instantly, I get geometry all along the edges of that surface. And if I want to, I can use any command I would like in reference to that geometry. How about we use the good old parallel offset like we did earlier? Let's make that a little smaller. How about 125 thousandths? Remember, if I want to do the whole thing, if I want to offset the entire shape, it's just a simple double click. So there's my double click left hand mouse click. We're going to quickly go back into our extrude tools and let's demonstrate extrude cut. Take your cursor, left hand mouse click, same approach, same techniques applied here. I can drag and snap to units if I want to. I, in this case, I'm just going to pull it down past the part and left click very fast. Let's do that with the holes. Just drag down past the part and left click, drag down, left click. Don't need to specify any values for this. I just want that hole to cut all the way through the shape. And there you go. All right, now, how about something a little bit more complicated? What if we want to create, uh, how about a quarter inch hole on this face right here? Well, how do we do that? It's very simple. Let's head down here 
and let's open up our construction plane tools and let's create a construction plane on that face. I'm going to grab that command there, left click, and there we go. There's our construction plane. Again, the whole idea is fast, direct approach when creating geometry. Now, I want to tell one CNC that I do want to use this coordinate system for the construction plane. So I'm going to activate that by using Use Plane Coordinate System. And you can instantly see the axis gnome XYZ RGB. Now, if I want to move that, I can do that by using this command. Just take my cursor, snap the vertice, and there we go. Now, the origin of the construction plane is right there. Now let's create some geometry. Let's head over here to our command manager. Let's go back into our arc command. That looks great. And for the circle, let's make that 250 thousandths, 0.25. That looks good. And the first thing I usually do is the Z value. Uh, in reference to that construction plane, that's going to be Z0. For X, why don't we say 1 inch? And for the Y value, how about, how about 0.2? That looks very good, and we're going to click OK to that. And now that circle was created in reference to our new construction plane and also reference to our new origin. How easy was that? I mean, very straight, direct approach. Now I'm going to turn our construction plane tools off, and let's do this. Let's take that circle we created, and let's quickly extrude that through the part. That's going to be extrude cut. That looks great. Now I want to now I want to create a little counter bore here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Alter command. I'm going to hit my keyboard shortcut, uh, which is A for Alter, or you can use this command here, which is Alter as well. Going to hit A, going to left click, and now I can drag that to any diameter I want, or I can come over here and type in whatever radius I'd like. So for this radius, I'm going to type in 0.2 for that. Now let's make it a little smaller. How about 0.15? That looks great, so we'll click OK to that. Very good. I'm going to zoom in with my mouse, and let's go back into our extrude, extrude cut. All right, so we're going to type in minus 30,000. It's going to take my cursor, left hand mouse click, left click one more time to execute the command, and when we're done, right hand mouse click. Okay, let's finish this part up with creating a couple of chamfers. Quickly back over to the command manager. Let's go into our model tools and select fill it. There's various commands you can execute in here, but let's just go with chamfer. Uh, 25 thousandths is fine. We'll click OK to that. Going to zoom in and I'm going to start clicking these edges. Now notice how one CNC has made the part translucent so I can look through there and I can select any hidden edges as well. This makes your geometry creation very fast and very efficient. That looks good and let's grab that last one there and then right hand mouse click and there we go. And I told one CNC to put a chamfer on that inside one as well. All right, so to finish this video up, why don't we do this? Let's change the color of our solid model. Going to hit the letter S on the keyboard to select it, and then left click. That looks good. Let's go down here to Alter, and let's just give this a darker shade of gray. By the way, if you want to, you can click on More Colors to select more colors or go into Custom, and then it's really an infinite amount of colors you can select from. But I'm going to go with that gray. We'll click OK to that. There we go. And then I don't really need that light blue geometry. We can select geometry by color by using this command right here. Or I have a keyboard shortcut, which is Alt-C on my computer. And I can tell one CNC to select all the light blue geometry. Hit the delete key on the keyboard. And there we go. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're located in California, you can reach us by phone at area code 909-931-7811 or by email at support at 1cncwest.com. Thanks again, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.